Hey everybody, it's Nick from Android Headlines, and we're here at CES 2018 getting a hands-on look at Lenovo's newest announcements. First up, let's take a look at Lenovo and Google's very first standalone daydream headset, the Lenovo Mirage Solo. The Mirage Solo is particularly exciting because it's finally the realization of what Google and Lenovo have been working on for years, the combination of AR and VR in a single piece of tech. On top of that, this marks the first major daydream headset released that's not Google branded, and it's 100% standalone as well. That means no phone, no cords, and no base stations or cameras to install, all without giving up very much in the way of movement freedom or rendering power. It's obviously a competitor to the Oculus Go, but it costs twice as much at 400 bucks, although it offers some pretty enhanced functionality over the Oculus Go as well. On the front, you'll find two cameras, which give the Mirage Solo the ability to see the world around it and provide what Lenovo dubs world sense. Just how much this can track is left to be seen, as Lenovo doesn't come out and say it's room scale VR, but it is definitely able to give you movement abilities far beyond Gear VR or a current generation Daydream headset that's powered by a phone. That means actual positional tracking for ducking and looking under or around objects in VR. It's still paired with the same Daydream controller users have come to know, which delivers 6 degrees of movement. Lenovo cites 7 hours of battery life here, so we're talking a pretty significant amount of VRing, all with the freedom to just take the headset on the go without ever having to worry about draining your phone's battery or buying a beefy PC or console to hook up to it. The Snapdragon 835 inside powers the experience, and the new Daydream OS, running atop Android Nougat, runs the show. Daydream has a ton of content at this point, and while it's not quite up to Gear VR amount of content, it doesn't downplay the quality in any way. The headset itself certainly resembles the PlayStation VR or HTC Vive Focus, and fastens on in a similar, ultra-comfortable way. The lenses also provide an ultra-wide 110-degree field of view, which is as wide as the high-end HTC Vive for reference. The display is a 5.5-inch Quad HD RGB LCD display, which seems a bit weird for VR purposes, but in our short time using it, things seem to work well enough. It's certainly looking to be a great way for folks to jump into a more premium VR experience than other mobile headsets offer, and folks looking to make their own real-life content for viewing in VR might just be interested in Lenovo's next product, which is the Mirage camera. This VR 180 camera, as they call it, delivers 180 degrees of playback that can be experienced in any VR headset that supports YouTube VR. It'll also upload your videos to Google Photos as well. Its compact design is made to be taken anywhere, and Lenovo is pitting this as a way to experience family get-togethers and events in real time without having to physically be there. Users on the remote end would be able to view everything in their VR headset without that boxed-in feeling that current video calling solutions provide, and live streaming functionality certainly puts this in a class of its own. There's a Snapdragon 626 inside, as well as a removable battery that's rated at two hours of continuous recording. Lenovo will be selling the Wi-Fi version of the Mirage camera for 300 bucks in the second half of this year, and an LTE-enabled one will also be available for an undisclosed price around the same time. Lastly is the Lenovo Smart Display, a clear competitor to the Amazon Echo Show, and a beautiful piece of technology any way you slice it. The Smart Display comes in two sizes, an 8-inch screen for around $199, or a 10-inch screen for around $249. These prices aren't quite official just yet, and with the release likely happening sometime in the summer, Lenovo has some time to iron that out. As a Google Assistant-powered screen, it does exactly what you would expect it to do. Think Google Home with a touchscreen and you'll get the gist. The bonus of having a display on it is that Assistant can show you things instead of just telling you. While this seems obvious, it's a little more meaningful than that short description sounds. Following recipes in the kitchen will certainly be easier than the current audio-only instructions are, and bringing the smart screen to the table will expand Google Assistant's features significantly, adding trivia and all sorts of other games to the mix as well. Hardware-wise, it's a pretty impressive package. The main shell is plastic, but Lenovo is going to offer a few different finishes including a soft touch material and a wood model. On the top are permanent mute switches for the microphone and for the camera, with a nice red cover that actually slides over the camera when it's off for maximum peace of mind. Since it has a camera on it, it'll have Google apps like Duo for video calling, although right now the unit is limited to landscape mode. Lenovo is planning on adding support for portrait mode sometime in the future, putting that speaker at the bottom under the display instead of to the left. It's a great idea and one that should prove to be an excellent competitor to that Echo Show. Check out our other CES coverage here at Android Headlines on YouTube, and don't forget to visit AndroidHeadlines.com for 24-7 tech news coverage daily. Thanks for watching, and until next time.